Hey guys and welcome back. Uh, my name's Ejeda and today's video I want to do like a quick recipe. I want to do some camarones a la diabla. Um, I think they're super easy to make. So if you are interested, please keep on watching. Alright guys, so for the recipe, you guys are going to need um, four tomatoes and I cut them into four, like into four pieces half an onion and I chopped those up too into like four pieces as well you're gonna need some chiles de arbol and chiles guajillo so I usually do like about 10 of these and about I don't know just depending on how spicy you want it um I usually do about like mm, let's see more than 10 for sure so like 10 to 15 um just because you know I usually like it spicy it's obviously called camarones a la diabla so they should be spicy and then um, I also use four um, pieces of garlic um, it's up to you if you want to use three but I think with garlic it tastes even better and then um, as for the shrimp I get these um, big ones right here and I get them from Sam's Club because they're already deveined de and the ones I use is this, these right here it's called rod easy pill shrimp um, and like I said, they're from Sam's Club. Alright guys, so now I'm going to add some olive oil to the pan. Just enough para poder freír, you know, everything inside. And the oil that I use is this one right here. It's um, extra virgin olive oil. And I think I caught this either at Target or Walmart, one of those. So just make sure that your oil gets really hot. Alright, so once your oil's hot, you're just going to add um, the tomatoes and the onion to the oil. Make sure that you do the chiles um, at the end once your tomatoes and onion are done because the chiles should just be like super quick. You shouldn't um, fry them that much. And then just turn your oil down. And you can boil like everything, but I think it tastes so much better um, cuando lo pones a freír, you know? So, when you fry them with a little bit of oil, I think it, everything tastes so much better. And remember, the only thing you're putting first is just the tomato and the onion. And so, of course, I have to stop cooking so I can attend my babies. Hi, Jet. Say hi. Hi, baby. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hi! Okay, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna show you my foot. Okay, show me. Are you ready? Yeah. I can do a perfect one. Okay, go. It's better than my Theo Al. He only does it like. Okay, so. girlfriend, come on, because I gotta go back to cooking. Are you ready? Yes. Yay! <laughs> That's what I can do. Uh, Hi! Birthday. Hi, sugar! Hi, sweet face. Oh my gosh. All right, mommy has to get back to cooking. Bye. All right, guys, so these are looking pretty good. I'm about to take them out and put them in the blender. Now you're going to add the garlic pieces inside of the licuadora, inside of the blender. And you're not going to add any water because the tomatoes like sueltan poquita agua, you know, so don't add water. You're just going to go ahead and blend that. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of salt right now so it can get blended. And then we're going to start frying all the chiles in the same pan. 
so let me start adding these and um, make sure you try to get as many seeds out um, I usually cut them like in through the middle like I cut them down the middle and I try to take out as many seeds as I can okay now let me turn this back on Okay, so once they start getting a little bit darker in color, they should be done. Um, you shouldn't be leaving these too much because luego they taste like kind of burnt. So just make sure you have low flame and just for a couple minutes and that's it. And then we're going to drop these in here. Um, you know, just do it um, maybe a couple at a time like this. And then um, close the lid and then just close the lid and start and then start blending them. Alright, and then once everything's blended, it should look something like that. Um, this is where you want to taste it and make sure that you add as much salt as you think it's just probably for your own taste um i usually use my little grinder right there and i turn it about five to six times because not that much comes out um but yeah if you don't like it too salty then just make it to your own taste so i get a new clean pan um, the one I used is in the back over there and and this is where we're gonna get a shrimp ready I usually add some Larry's garlic salt just so they can get some you know so they can get some flavor I'm gonna go ahead and add um, like a spoon like this just one big spoon of butter and that way we can cook the shrimp first Okay, so once it's mostly melted, I'm just going to go ahead and add my shrimp. let them cook for maybe another minute or two just to make sure that the sauce gets really hot and everything gets combined and all the flavors come together all right guys here's the finished product my camarones a la diabla with some white rice jet i'm trying to film over here and there's my princess eating See, it's so simple to make and it's so good. Bye bye. You want some camarones? Are you gonna bring a shrimp lover like your mom? Hey guys, peace out. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. And don't forget to subscribe to my mom videos. A hundred subscribers. <laughs> subscribers. <laughs> You're so cute.